Hi, everybody. It's meteorologist Joe Chaffee on uh, Tuesday, December 15th, 10 days before Christmas. And it's time for this morning's long range model discussion, which doesn't show very much. Now, we're going to take you first off into this weekend. And here's the deep trough in the east right here that's going to bring in the cold air. Now, the European yesterday. And the NAM last night uh, tried to show actually two waves going by with one wave bringing rain here on Thursday and then a second wave that brings in another round of rain to the coast late Thursday night into Friday morning right before the cold air comes in. Uh, it'd be nice if we got a second shot of rain if only just to enhance the precip a little bit, but it's not going to make a difference one way or the other because the trough just lifts, moves on through. And then, of course, by Saturday evening, it's already. Uh, east of us and lifts right out on Sunday. So we'll probably start to see temperatures bounce here as early as Sunday with the core of the cold air coming in Friday night into Saturday morning. And then as we move through Christmas week, you can just watch what happens off the East Coast. You can already see this deep trough comes into the West, which means the ridge has to pop up again in the East. Now, the only thing that's a little different this time around, and I'm, I'm really splitting hairs here is that the ridge position is probably a little further east than it was this week so we won't be spending a whole lot of time underneath the blowtorch mode but uh, Christmas Eve brings a cold front through and then Christmas Day looks pretty warm to me that ridge not only doesn't go away but actually builds back to the coast going into uh, the weekend of the 26th and 27th and and we have another system that comes out from that deep trough and lifts up well to our west, brings another cold front through here along about the 28th or early on the 29th. And then about the best thing you can say in the longest part of this period is that the flow across the United States is zonal. A big deal. Uh, it is still a mess all up here. Nothing seems to be changing there. A little bit of change up here near the arctic looks like some pressures are building there and pressures building up along the date line but until i see something that's really definitive this is just an exercise in futility with the way this pattern goes now we'll look at the above normal below normal because that's been a lot of fun to look at lately i'm just gonna bring it all back and then you can watch the flames of above normal just go crazy now look here we are at the beginning of this week and we're still above normal right into Wednesday and into Thursday. Uh, looks like the above normal anomalies are run, running at around plus 8, plus 10. Then here's our cold front moves on through. And there it is. There's the cold blast right here. We get all the way down to normal on Saturday. Whoopee. And Sunday morning shows normal temperatures. Sunday afternoon, it's maybe just a little bit above normal. And then in comes all the reds and purples again. And you can see that, that going into Christmas Eve, it's another blowtorch here in the east with anomalies running between plus 12 and plus 18, roughly. And that continues through Christmas Eve. And here's Christmas Day with anomalies again in the plus 12 to plus 16 range. So that says temperatures at the very least will be in the 50s. And now we'll go through the 27th, still much above normal. And there we are at the end of the period. The above normal area shrinks up a little bit into eastern and central Canada, a little bit of below normal across Alaska, normal across the south. And other than that, uh, it's just a dud. So if you're looking for a pattern change, it's not on this run. And one other thing I want to show you because I know that the Christmas holidays <clears throat> are a big ski vacation uh, period between Christmas and New Year's. And we'll just take you back. Just want to show you this is snowfall. This is not snow cover, but this is actual snowfall that the model's forecasting. Now, where it comes up with whatever it shows over Connecticut and southern New York, I'm really not sure. But you can rest assured that it's probably nonsense. Let me just get a little closer and we can figure this out um, let's go back now this only goes out to Christmas Day so it only goes out to 10 days and it looks like it puts in 
that's actually for this um, the weekend of the 19th 20th probably with that whatever second wave there is which this model doesn't even pick up on very well at all so I'm not sure where it gets all this but to me it looks like just sheer nonsense but there's very little snow that falls in any of the ski areas in upstate New York or throughout much of New England except maybe extreme northeastern Maine and frankly I'm not impressed so enjoy uh, the your day as we will be drier today and on Wednesday and then some more rain on Thursday and maybe a little bit more into Friday before we have two days of near normal temperatures to look forward to if you are a winter weather lover you get to see temperatures right around normal for this weekend